What's going on guys? So today we are doing something a little different. I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at me making a wine bottle levitate and pour itself into a glass. So this is our main setup here. I blacked out this window right over here and we've got our wine and our glass right there center on the table and then my main camera right here. That's what we're going to film it with and we're going to film in 4K at 60 frames a second with intentions of turning this into a vertical video. And then we've got the Aperture 120D Mark II right here lighting it. Just that really nice soft lighting noise right there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the bottle of wine and I'm gonna run my camera. Basically, I'm gonna let it run for probably 20 or 30 seconds because I need a background layer that I can mask the original layer and then replace with that background layer. So after 20, 30 seconds of letting the camera roll, then we're going to put the wine glass there and then I'm gonna do my very best to keep my fingers on the side of the wine bottle so it's a little easier to mask and not cover up anything important. And then I'm just gonna pour it into the glass and then we're gonna edit it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes look, but now let's hop into the edit bay and get to it. So a little warning, this is not for the faint of heart. It is very time consuming to mask out your hand the entire time. So the first thing I did was separate my clip between the wine glass with no wine bottle next to it. So I have that as one layer and then the other part with the wine glass and the wine bottle there and put that as another layer. And then from Premiere Pro, I put that into After Effects because After Effects is way easier to mask on than Premiere. A little tip before you start masking that I didn't do but I learned my lesson after doing all of this is that you should animate the position and scale of your video throughout the entire video before you start masking. Because I've got a frame like this and I'm going to crop it in vertically for Instagram, but I already knew that I wanted to have some movement into it and push into the wine glass as the bottle is being poured and so on. So if I would have done that from the get go, I would have had to mask way less than I did because I did the entire clip and it's kind of a headache. All right, now that our footage is in After Effects, we just gotta mask out my hand and we just gotta put that mask layer on top of the base layer that does not include the bottle. So start by drawing your mask around one part of your hand. So in the video, I'm holding the bottle like this. And so if the bottle's right here, my arm is the bottle, I have to mask out this portion of my hand and then this remaining portion of my fingers. So that means we're gonna need two masks. Now make sure you're starting at the beginning of the layer, draw your mask and make sure that you hit the stopwatch on mask path. Now my method of doing this because I tried to rotoscope and I tried to track the mask but it was not working. So that means I have to animate the entire mask by hand, keyframing it all the way through. So my little workaround around this was going every two frames instead of every one frame because if you're putting a keyframe every two frames, that means it's going to slowly and gradually change as the video goes along. I would get a certain distance after animating that mask and then play it back just to make sure that I'm not seeing anything that's too noticeable. There are slight blemishes in the video, but the average person will not see them. So once again, it is going to take a long time to do, but it will be so worth it when you captivate your audience and everyone's just like, how did you, how did you do that? So after you finish that first mask, you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing, but on this portion of the bottle, erasing the fingers, and you do the exact same thing. Now while I'm animating the masks, I leave the mode on none, so I can still see what exactly I'm trying to erase from the video. So once you're all done with the masks, then you can hit subtract, and it will take those things that you just masked out of it. So now you've got the base layer under it and there's no hand showing. All right, last thing you gotta do for your video, add a color grade, add some music, share it with your friends. 
and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back with some more videos, and I will see you in the next one. I actually already did it and forgot to hit the record button, so.